crazy crab in the house and I want to give one final rant just some final thoughts because there's really not much more to say on this topic because I'm really pissed off and my head is starting to hurt I need to get off this crap and start talking about some better nicer things I'm sorry I know this is the most fun is probably to talk crap about Kathleen Kennedy and Lucasfilm and these horrible articles but it's really at the end of the day it's really not that much fun it's really painful because it's really horrible and I really hate it I started this YouTube channel before I went to see The Last Jedi I opened it and everything and set it all up and then I thought okay my first video is gonna be a review of The Last Jedi I went to see The Last Jedi and it was bad but I'm like okay at least we got something to talk about and who knew how downhill things would go from there who knew how things would go now I never in a million years could have imagined I'd be sitting here having to defend myself against being called racist sexist homophobic all these horrible things and the weirdest thing is I'm going out there and fighting against people who are supposedly quote unquote fighting for minority and women's rights how weird is that that I'm opposing people who are acting like they care so much about women and minorities and they that they need equal treatment and they're the ones fighting and I'm fighting against them and that feels very weird and very awkward because I'm usually on the other side okay I am very strongly for rights for everyone equal rights for everyone I think most of us are and we're sitting here fighting against people who think that they are the ones who are doing the fighting when in reality they're fighting against no one because no one has a problem with race or gender or anything like that but that's what they need to fight against to get more people on their side and get the masses on their side like who is going to oppose them if they're fighting against horrible human beings so if they make us out to be horrible human beings they win because they're fighting against something that doesn't exist and doesn't need to be discussed and you may say yeah, what are you talking about we're the ones who keep saying there's social justice warrior stuff in there the social justice warrior stuff that we're referring to is not casting a woman it's not casting an Asian person it's not even having a diverse cast those aren't the things that we're talking about or at least not that I'm talking about I'm talking about trying to teach us moral lessons in Star Wars movies that have nothing to do with the movie they're not weaved into the plot properly and clearly you as the CEO of this movie franchise do not give a flying freak about this movie you care about your own little agenda okay and you're using the movie as your platform to teach us about that which it's not teaching anyone about any of those things you're only making the people who are already on your side go yeah nice shove that in there and the people who are not on your side go what the hell I don't even know what she's trying to do I don't know what she's trying to do honestly but she is making bad movies for the most part and The Last Jedi was the worst of it and it's absolutely embarrassing The Last Jedi is an embarrassment of a movie I'm embarrassed to be called a Star Wars fan. I'm absolutely embarrassed. My brother, who is not a Star Wars fan, who hasn't seen very many Star Wars movies, I was embarrassed when he watched that movie. A neutral observer, someone who's not a Star Wars fan, he doesn't know anything about all this, doesn't know who Kathleen Kennedy is. He watched this movie, and he sent me a bunch of messages on an app called WhatsApp where you can just send voice messages. I think I still have them. I need to post a video. And my brother just completely obliterated this movie he brought up points I didn't even think of he was just like what the heck was that he's like was that a movie he doesn't know what a social justice warrior thing he didn't talk about any of that he's just like what the heck was going on because the movie sucks the movie sucks and that's the problem the problem is movie sucks we care about movies I care about movies I love film I love Star Wars I love having movies I love when I can sit down and watch the movies one after the other either on the same day or every day I wanna have watchable movies that's why I'm so excited about Ivan Ortega's versions because that's all I have to look forward to 
It's no disrespect to Ivan Ortega. I'm so happy that he's making these movies. But it's sad that we have to rely on fans, very talented fans, albeit, much, much, much more talented than anyone working at Lucasfilm, but we have to rely on fans, our fellow fans, to make us versions that actually work. And the only thing Disney's good for is just giving us some footage with some really advanced special effects. And yes, they hire the actors and they get the Mark Hamills of the world in there. And okay, thanks for the footage. Now we'll actually turn it into a watchable movie. How sad is that? And these people in the media just make me sick to my stomach. They make me sick. They give me migraine headaches. I wanted a nice YouTube channel to talk. Watch my videos at the beginning. I tried to just make some neutral, neutral things. I got a video about Yoda. I tried to make fun videos. But holy cow, how was I to know that the media was going to come after all of us who didn't like The Last Jedi, all of us who want Kathleen Kennedy. Yeah, we want Kathleen Kennedy gone. So I'm going to take a little break from reading fucked up articles. And I'm going to take a little break from the crazy rants. I mean, I'll still talk about it if something new something fresh comes up if something is to talk about if Kathleen Kennedy gets fired I'll obviously talk about it more movies get announced I'll talk about it I want to talk about the Ryan Johnson trilogy and like I want to make a video on that because it's like how is that even a thing I, I honestly don't think it's going to happen Disney cannot be that bad they've made a lot of money they cannot be that stupid Maybe they just don't want to put out, they don't want to put Ryan Johnson down and be like, trilogy's canceled. But trust me, the trilogy is canceled. It has to be canceled. They will not put that out. They would have to be straight suicidal to put that out. I want to talk about some of the new movie ideas coming out, like the Boba Fett. So there's things to talk about. I'm going to talk about it, but like just crazy rants against what they're talking about, a sexist and racist and social justice warrior. You know, I'm, I'm done for now. I'm done with it for now. Uh, it may get more clicks, but hey, let me just finish off funny story here. When I first went to see The Last Jedi, actually, actually not that funny, but it's actually it's not funny at all. But anyway, uh, I went to see The Last Jedi first time with my friend, and we watch it, and we leave, and there's a stormtrooper, you know, a guy dressed as a stormtrooper out in the mall. We went to see it at a mall where that had a movie theater. So we go talk to the stormtrooper, and we had our pictures taken with him, and it was kind of fun and everything. I was still shocked. I was still in a state of shock from what I just saw still didn't really know what to think but as we walked away from the stormtrooper i found myself feeling bad for him i felt sick because we actually talked to him and he hadn't seen it yet he was going to go see a later showing we saw it like at seven and he had tickets for the 11 o'clock showing so we walked away and i felt bad for him i felt really sick like sick bad i was like oh he's all dressed up and everything and i told my friend like oh i feel so bad for him she's like why and i'm like i don't know because he's going to see that movie I mean, and that was like the first sign, like instinctually, I knew this movie was really bad and really sucked. And it just hadn't really, I mean, yes, I knew it was bad. I knew I was disappointed. I knew I was just crushed. But I didn't really fully understand how bad it was. You know, it hadn't fully processed how bad it was. There were still some scenes that I'm thinking, oh, you know, that was cool and that was cool, that was cool. And maybe there was a couple scenes that were cool. But as a whole, that movie is so freaking bad i'm sorry i'm absolutely embarrassed i don't want to own it I, i'm embarrassed to have someone come in my house and see it on the shelf even if they don't know what star wars is i'm embarrassed absolute embarrassment and that's my final rant i'm done so we're going to go back to some nice kitty videos after this hope you enjoy those They're coming up we're going to talk star wars still i'm going to talk other movies i'm going to do reviews of other movies i got a few reviews i'm working on top 10 favorite star wars moment was requested to me by one of my subscribers i love you guys i love all my subscribers i love you guys so much i love you guys um please subscribe like and all that stuff if you want that's all i got i play guitar by the way i play freaking guitar really good too i need to make some new videos i got some music videos coming out i'm working on some funny stuff hope to see you all there bye bye crazy crab is see ya bye bye out mm -hmm.